Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arca Studio. In this tutorial, I will talk about advanced techniques for rendering in SketchUp and Enscape. So let's get to work. I want to create some automotive rendering from this object which related to the Enscape asset library. So I'm going to press F and change my camera to the advanced rendering in here. And now I'm going to click on the close option and turn on the save frame. First of all, I want to press F click on the edit camera and click on the visual setting go to the output change your resolution custom mode and now i want to change my resolution for example some type of a square rendering or portrait rendering if you want portrait rendering you need to reverse these two numbers it means that change this value lower than this value so some number about 1200 and 1920 can be good and you can see the aspect ratio of my resolution so uh, I'm going to click on the main bar in here and everything is fine I need to move my camera a little bit to the left side because I need some completely direct angle for my shot so I think this type of lighting is not bad and can be acceptable so I'm going to click on the save option Click on the Enscape Online Asset Library in here and select these three. Click on the Move option. Um, I don't know what happened. But I can move this one to here. Click on the Apply Changes. So now I have better view of my shot. So I'm going to close the Enscape Asset Library in here. Click on the Visual Setting and start my rendering. First of all, I'm going to increase the field of view as I can. And you can see what really happened when you decrease the field of view and you have better angle for your job. So, some number about 26 degree can be good. Press F, edit your camera another time. Move it to this angle and this shot like this. Something about 0 for the pitch and 154 for the yeah option in here. Click on the uh, save option in this place. Advanced setting, visual setting. Move your visual setting to the left side. Increase the exposure to some good number. For example, 54. My rendering quality on the draft mode. So I need to change it to the ultra because I want to see all the details and lightings much sharper than the other times. Turn on the depth of field. For focusing on the car and vehicle, turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point in here. I want to focus on these light and these bumpers of this place. So 8.18 is enough and depth of field power is something about 11. And I think it's acceptable. So exposure is nice. So click on the image bar and use the auto contrast for auto calculation in your lighting and contrast. Saturation can be increased to the 102%. I need more warm render, so reduce the color temperature to some number like 6000 Kelvin. Motion blur is 0. Bloom option is about 4. Lens flare is about 14. Wignate can be increased to the 44. Or if I increase it more and more, I can create some cinematic rendering here. Maybe 61% is interesting. Chromatic aberration is zero. Intensity is not really useful, but if you want to fade out your sky, you can increase fog option in here. And when I increase the intensity, look at the background in here, and you can see what's really happened inside of your job. It's really nice for post-processing in your rendering and effects. 66% is enough. I can change the height of my fog in here. And you can see when I reduce the number of it, the fog will become downside. So try to hold it on some good number, for example, 34 meter. Some brightness can be increased to the 96. Night sky is not really useful. And I want to increase the shadow sharpness to see these trees shadows on the uh, car's body. Or you can decrease it to the 10 to see faded out shadows. Maybe 44% is enough. Artificial light brightness is not really effective in this place. But you can increase it to the 122 because we have some hidden lights 
at the right side and we can't see them. Ambient brightness can be increased a little bit, 56%, and wind option is zero. The sky is really important in here. First of all, I can see the horizon line. I think it's not really good, but in this render is okay. So change the source mode from white ground to the white cubes, and now you have better view of your HDRI in here. As a matter of fact, white ground is not bad, but I prefer to use white cubes in this render. Density of the clouds is really important. When I increase them, I can change my render to the cloudy render like this, but my main object will be completely faded out. So try to use some clear sky, for example, 11% for the density. Cyrus amount is the small clouds which generated by big clouds. And I want to turn them off, so I will turn off it. Now I have some clear sky in here. Variety of clouds completely related to the density, so I hold it on the 14%. Control is about 0, and come to the output option in here. If I increase this resolution numbers, my quality will be increased at the same period of time. So I try to use another type of resolution for better view of this shot, for example, something like this. And if you want some more narrow render in here, you need to increase this number at the right side. For example, if I type 5000, you can see it's completely changed to some type of narrow resolution. So I think 3000 is enough, or maybe 3200. Maybe 2,092 is enough. My file format is the PNG. So I will come back to the main bar, increase the exposure to the 56. Image bar, reduce the uh, color temperature. And I want to render this shot. So click on the uh, render or a screenshot in here and select your desktop and type automotive render and click on the save option in here. Enscape will start rendering for you in a few seconds and you can see some hyper realistic render of different type of objects like cars, vehicles, trees and environment in your job. These type of renders are industrial renders and you can use them in your projects or portfolios sometimes if you want to show your abilities in rendering and 3D visualizing. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching and goodbye.